Alan Bernowski here with a lesson for Acoustic Guitar Magazine. Um, today we're looking at the classic tune called Salt Creek. This is a very popular jam tune, so if you find yourself in a uh, bluegrass jam setting, it's a good song to know. Um, if you happen to know it already, we're also going to look at how to play the B part a little bit further up the neck. So we'll first kind of go through, talk about how it's traditionally played down here, and then also show a different way how to play it further up here. Um, so if you're looking to kind of get more familiar in this territory of the fretboard, there's going to be some uh, good stuff here for you as well. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and play through the tune so you get a sense of what it sounds like. Um, I'll play through the A part, the B part, and then this alternate B part as well. Um, I'll do it at 100 BPM, which is kind of quick, but at the very end of the video, I'll also do it a good bit slower so you can, you know, work off the slower version as well. Um, but yeah, so to start, I'm just going to play it up to speed. I've got it at 100 BPM, um, and uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Here's that alternate B section. One, two, three, four. All right, so there it is. Um, I'm just going to talk through a few things that I think are uh, pretty interesting in this tune, um, and then I'll kind of dig into this alternate B section as well. And again, the whole thing will be slowed down at the very end of the video. Um, so the tune kicks off with this lick. Right. Um, slide, wh I've got the capo on second fret, um, so we're in the key of A technically, but we're playing out of G position. Um, so I'm going to talk like we're in the key of G. So anyway, we are sliding here from the 4th fret up to the 5th. Um, and then we have the open G string. So the fretted G followed by the open G. In that lick, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because it is the classic flat picking sound. Um, if you want to get more comfortable playing in the style, um, this is a really, you know, good concept to get familiar with. Um, and we can get familiar with it here by playing through Salt Creek. So yeah, it kicks off with that, with that lick here. And then goes on. And so on throughout the A part. Um, in this A part, there are a lot of good opportunities for hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, the places I like to do them are notated in the tablature. Um, you can find that tablature at Acoustic Guitar Magazine's website if you you know if you don't have it already. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of good spots for hammer-ons and pull-offs here. Like um, starting in the in the uh, third bar of the notation. There's some good pull-off material there. Um, you may find other places where you want to do hammer-ons and pull-offs, and uh, by all means, go ahead and kind of add them in wherever you think is uh, appropriate for your style. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of the gist of the A part. In the B part, it starts off with this thing. And this, uh, this line here is probably the most notable thing, in my opinion, in the B part. We're playing that across one string. It's just the E string. Um, and, you know, it's in this region of the neck on the, on the bright E string. Playing in this region of the neck on this particular string really cuts through. So if you're playing in a jam or you're playing with a band or something like that, um, it's, 
you're able to cut through the mix really well uh, playing in this position. That's what's really nice about this. And also, since it's on one string, we get this linear kind of sound, which is also really nice for this uh, little section. Um, and then it goes on in the B part to play this line. Which is, I, I love that one. That's really nice. And then it goes on, it plays the, uh, the first two bars again. And then it has this ending lick. And there it is, that's the B section. So you play the A section twice, you play the B section twice, and that's the Tune Salt Creek. As I mentioned before, there's also this separate way to play through the B section. Um, and it's basically note for note the same thing, but in just one closed position. So we have this, like, I'll just kind of walk through it. So before, we had this. And there's this kind of like big stretch here in the left hand, and that could be, that could be tough to do. We could play it here. So. Exact same notes. We're just now using a, this position at the fifth fret, or kind of centered index finger at the fifth fret. Um, and now we're playing across three different strings instead of the two strings here. Um, it's a little bit further up the neck, so it gives a little bit of a, a warmer, mellower sound. It sounds really nice, but one of the downsides is that you might not cut through as well uh, with a band. Um, and then we can also, we can basically play the whole thing out of this position. So that's the next little section, we can do that here. And then it goes on and repeats the first two bars again. And then it has that little ending lick. And um, drops down, back down to the neck for just the last few notes. And uh, yeah, that's the B section played up here. It's not easier to play. It, I don't mean because, you know, it doesn't have the stretch, but it does have other challenges going on. Um, one of them is it's using an area of the fingerboard that a lot of us just don't use that much. Um, so that can be a good reason to practice this. You know, if you're gonna choose one, if you didn't wanna learn two different ways to play the B part, go with the first one. The first one is the classic way to play it. Um, it's in you know more familiar territory. It's still kind of challenging. <laughs> it's not like a super easy thing to play. Uh, but if you want to learn both of them, uh, by learning the one up here, it will kind of help you figure out this area of the fingerboard. So that's one of the, the benefits of it. So um, yeah, that's the tune. What I'm going to do now is play through the whole thing at a much slower speed. I'm going to do it at 70 BPM. So I'm just going to get my metronome set up here at 70. Um, and uh, that's gonna close out the video. If you have any questions, would love to hear from you. Feel free to get a hold of me. Um, and good luck learning this tune. Here it is, it's 70 BPM. Again, I'm gonna do the A part, then the B part, and then the alternate B part. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, here's the alternate B part. One, two, one, two, three, four. 